If you haven't seen something from this on your Facebook page, chances are good you will. It's called Ontario Proud, and it has 364,000 followers. That's more than all three provincial parties combined and more than the federal Liberal Party. It's changing how political wars are fought and maybe won. Now meet its creator. Hardest question first. Yeah. Say and spell your first and last name, Jeff. <laughs> J-E-F-F. B-A-L-L-I-N-G-A-L-L, -L -L -L, Jeff Ballingall. Ballingall, and you are? The founder of Ontario Proud. And this is what you'll find on the Ontario Proud Facebook page. It's a growing movement. It's, uh, we're, it's just focusing on key themes of uh, government waste and fair taxes and you know, uh, focusing on, on government policy that brings jobs back to Canada. And it's dedicated to bringing down Kathleen Wynne and her Liberals. Its reach is impressive. Since November 1st, we've done over 52 million video views. Um, we reach every week, we reach between 4 to 10 million people a week. Um, and right now, we're pulling about 2 million video views a week. Usually, it's the Liberals who have friendly third party supporters like Working Families, a coalition of deep pocketed unions credited for helping take out the Conservatives in the last four provincial elections with attack ads like this. What are your thoughts on Doug Ford potentially firing 40,000 nurses and teachers? Honestly, I hate it. But this is the first time a third party group in Ontario is PC friendly. It's not just leveling the playing field, it's blowing it up. Do you see this as something that can sway a provincial election in this country? Oh, certainly. Uh, I mean, again, we're reaching millions of people every week. Mm -hmm. uh, millions of people see our content. So that's something that didn't happen last election. They were, people weren't exposed to uh, a narrative that was against the Liberals, and now they are. And now they see us all the time. New election rules have capped spending at $600,000 during the election campaign. So putting the message on Facebook is a cheap way to spread the word. Ontario Proud is also offering lawn signs and will try and help get out the vote. So we have 100,000 um, email subscribers and we know all their postal codes. So during the election, during the get out the vote um, aspect of it, we're going to be we're going to be able to tell them where to go to the polls, and we're you know we're getting lawn signs and bumper. Sticker. So we're trying to show that's a grassroots movement mm -hmm. um, across the province. But this is fascinating. So you're amassing people's data as yes. well. Ballingall has definite conservative roots. He worked at Sun TV and describes himself as a conservative voter, although he says he's going to vote strategically in June and cast a ballot for the NDP. He also founded a BC Proud Facebook page and is trying to start one in Quebec and possibly go across the country. This, he says, is the future. It's not the days of old politics where you need, you know, rich men in back rooms making tons of money. It's, uh, it's the, the new politics. It's young people getting involved and making a difference. Ballingall says he has massive support in Toronto, or Ontario Proud does, and also from women over 65. He does not talk with the Doug Ford campaign. That is against election rules.